Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. We're here at Soda Creek Falls. It is very pretty, but quite cold. Yeah, we're just doing this quick one mile hike here, and then we're gonna head over to Sandy Wagon Road and do that as well. So that was what we we're up to today. Oh, the cold like takes my breath away. But yeah, we're gonna check out these falls. They're really pretty, apparently, so. Catch you on the trail. So we tried to navigate over this log here and I like put my foot on this, which was a huge mistake and I slipped and fell. As you can see here, my leg is like wet into the mud so it's totally soaked my shoe was wet yeah but my camera didn't get wet it didn't get muddy so that's good <laughs> i'll have a bruise tomorrow but yeah this waterfall better be uh good yeah. this is so cool that is so pretty Wow, gorgeous, absolutely stunning. That's just so neat. Perspective. So we're down at the bottom. Okay guys, we finished the trail, a uh, mile and a half. Ah, so long. <laughs> yeah, mile and a half, super epic. Recommended to everybody come into this area, it's super awesome. Yeah, only a mile and a half, 459 feet of elevation gain, so it's a little steep there towards the end, but it's like nothing to write home about. So uh, yeah, we're still like the only ones here. <laughs> I imagine in the summer, this is a popular place to be because it's not too far away from like towns, but it still kind of feels out there and there's campground and everything like that. So I imagine the summer it's popular. So I recommend going in the late fall and winter. It's super awesome. Anyway, we are going to head to Sanium Wagon Road Trail now. Okay guys, we are on the approach trail to the to the San Yam Wagon Road trail here. This is just a little approach trail from, <laughs> from the little road. So there's a campground over there, but we couldn't drive down to it because, <laughs> because the gate is closed. It's a, it's closed, but it's a, it looks really nice. As you can see here, let me flip you around. So there's one of the camp spots there. There's like a fire pit. It's right by a river. Super nice. So let's see what this uh, approach trail is like. I'm very curious to see. Oh, wow. So that river feeds into the, I think it's the South Sanyam. Oh yeah, oh, okay, so there's a bridge. Oh, that's so pretty! Wow! That is gorgeous! This is so pretty!
Dallas Rock Falls. Okay, so here's the loop. Yeah. So then we come back here. So here we have the House Rock Cave. What? So that's the rock. That's the cave. But it's all water in there. In the summer, I bet you could go in there. But that's pretty cool. That's neat. Valley Cascade Mountain Wagon Road was the main road from Albany to Sisters for almost 70 years. It was built by a group of ranchers and businessmen in return for a government grant of 800,000 acres. A what man on a good horse could make the 102 mile journey in four days. Some principal overnight stops were at Mountain House, Fish Lake, Cash Creek, and Camp Polk. Toll was charged from 1867 to 1915. The state of Oregon acquired the road in 1925 and abandoned it in 1930. And then they built the, what is now Highway 20, instead of this. Yay, so we are on this historic road that goes down, we'll come back this way, that goes down to the loop we just did, to the cave and the falls. And now we're gonna do a two mile out and back on this guy. Just a leisurely two mile stroll here to get to the very beginning of the trail. And then we're gonna come back and that's it. This is a beautiful, beautiful area as you can see. And this trail I believe is also mountain bike friendly. So, and the whole thing is 19 and a half miles long. So, especially if you wanted to backpack or something, you could mountain bike or backpack on this Palestinian uh, wagon road. Well guys, it looks like this is our impasse here. A very large stream. And it looks like generally we'd be able to cross right there. There's the path that goes up. But that's too deep of water. That's like Oh, good foot, foot and a half, two feet deep. And there's not enough rocks to stand on. And that's a good 20 feet across. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's quite large. So, um, yeah, I think we have to run. Unfortunately. That's so sad. The trail is just right there. <laughs> so sad. Oh, well. Okay guys, hello. Sorry it's a little wobbly. My camera, for some reason, sometimes the SD card gets weird when I record and all of a sudden it's like corrupted information if you keep going. So it'll corrupt everything I've previously recorded, which sucks. So that's why I'm using the phone. It's a little more shaky, but just wanted to do the outro. We did 2.85 miles here at the Santium wagon trail awesome trail super cool waterfall there and the cave and all that and the history i just find that so cool so all together we only did like five miles <laughs> but that's totally fine it is super cold out which takes up a lot of energy so oh we probably hiked more having to hike up this road honestly because we had to park at the gate because the campground's actually closed and that's where the trail starts. So you have to hike up this road. So yeah, super awesome day. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next adventure.